While the pandemic has been a tremendously challenging time, music has a way of healing. And no one knows that better than Tony Award-winning actress Laura Benanti. Inspired by her Sunshine Song initiative, she is executive producing a new special called Homeschool Musical, shining a light on the personal experiences and incredible musical talent of teens across America that have been confronted with the many unique challenges of 2020. Take a look. Sunshine songs quickly took on a life of its own. I got thousands of videos. When Laura commented on my first video, I freaked out. The young people you're about to meet. I'm talking to one of my idols, hello. Raised their voices during this unprecedented time. We all go through things from day to day. And art is what's going to get us through. And Laura is with us now. Laura, it is so good to see you. How are you? <laughs> it's so good to see you too. I'm I'm good. I'm COVID good. So we see that you are in a trailer. You're back on set. You're yes. doing Younger and Gossip Girl. Such a perfect time for a project like this. I Thank remember you. Um, when you put out this ask on social media and I thought, what a great idea. But when you put it out, was it just something that you thought, let me just share some things. Did you expect to get the response that you got? No way. I mean, I really, my mom is a voice teacher and she was really upset on behalf of her students who weren't going to be able to do their shows. And not just because, you know, you want the kids to be able to perform. It's like, that's how they feel seen and how they express themselves. And um, it's one of the few times a year, at least for me, that I felt like my community saw fully who I was. Um, So I thought, you know what, even if I get five videos. It'll be worth it. I want these kids to know that somebody out there is rooting for them and wants to see them. And then I got like 15,000 videos I can't and the original post was viewed millions of times and it Ugh. became this viral thing, which, you know, really moves me because we all know the downside of the internet, but the yeah. good side of the yeah. internet can be moments like this where yeah. we all collectively say as a society, like we want to embrace our young people and we want to be cheered by them, by their music, by their hearts. Um, so it was a really positive thing to come out of a very challenging time. Yeah, I'm sure so special for you to work on and kind of uplifting for you as well. Um, but tell me about these teens that you selected and how you even narrowed it down. It was nearly impossible. I, I wanted to put every single kid into the documentary. Yeah. But really, you know, we wanted to make sure that we had a diverse group that could represent the class of 2020. And we wanted to tell compelling stories, you know, kids who really had um, sort of turning points within within quarantine, and then kids who are just remarkable. But it was very, very hard to choose. In speaking with them, how did music specifically help them through this time? For most of them, music was a lifeline even before this. Yeah. Um, as, as it is for most kids who love music in the way that I love music. I really believe that music is a common language that we all speak. Yeah. Um, and even if you don't speak it, you understand it. Yes. And, and it's so healing. it is healing. I really think it's healing. And, and the, you know, in the documentary, the kids chose the songs that they wanted to perform and they really speak to the individual. Yeah. And I'm just really proud of them for basically filming these musical performances in COVID. We sent them 11 boxes of camera packages. Oh my God. They and filmed zoomed it themselves? In. Oh yeah. Oh. And then we, we zoomed in with our director of photography and our director and our choreographer and, you know, all of these professionals. And then yeah. they talked basically their, fen- their friends and family through it. What like how amazing to amazing experience for them. Yeah. Speaking of singing though, too, you also have a new self-titled album out. So what can we expect? What inspired it? Tell me about it. You know, this was recorded pre-pandemic. So this was just meant to be, you know, a a collaboration between myself and Gil Goldstein, who arranged the songs in this incredible band. And um, Matt Pearson, who was our producer, I think, you know, he and I picked some really interesting tracks. It's music that spans a hundred years. Oh on one God. album and it feels really cohesive. It took on sort of a new meaning yeah. in the within the scope of the pandemic and that I really think of it as self-care <laughs> now. Yeah. You know, we, what we're hearing so much of, what we're being bombarded with is so often challenging news. Mm-hmm. And so it's like comfort food for your ears. <laughs> it's such a pleasure talking to you today. I love you. I hope to see I you. I love soon. you.
Um, we just want let's tell everyone where they can catch up. Please catch Homeschool Musical Class of 2020 on HBO Max today. Laura, be well, be safe, and I hope to see Thank you on you. the other side of this. Yes, me too. I just love you so much. Me too. Back at you. <laughs> Thank you.